Hi Tech Warriors, imagine a machine that survived the apocalypse of tech trends and still crushing renders, simulations and heavy workloads like it's 2019 all over again. But we're in 2025. This is the HP ZBook 15G6, the disputed king of mobile workstations, packing an Intel Core i7, 9850H Beast, NVIDIA Quadro, 2000 graphics, 16GB of RAM, 256GB SSD, Wi-Fi 6 and more. If you're a creator, engineer or pro on the go, this could be your ultimate weapon. Today we are diving deep into every nook and cranny. Physical builds, ports, performance, firepower, and why it's still HP's bestseller. Stick around to the end for my verdict that might just save you thousands. Hit like if you're hyped, subscribe for more Station Wars, and let's unleash these beasts. First up, the ZBook 15G6 Physical Vibes screams premium durability without screaming bulky or bricky. It weighs in at a solid 5.8 pounds, that is 2.6 kilograms, portable for a 15 inch per house, but not ultra light like a consumer laptop. Dimensions, we have 14.8 inches wide, 10.4 deep, and one inch thick. Fitting snug in most backpacks. The aluminum magnesium chassis fits like a tank. It passes the 21 MIL STD tests for drops, shocks, and extra stream temperatures. Perfect for field engineers and clumsy creators. That slick silver finish with diamond cutting edge and the iconic HP logo on the lid. It's professional yet stylish. No flashy RGB here. Open it up and the hinge is smooth and sturdy, holding any angle without wobble. Overall, it's built to last and not to impress the Starbucks. As for ports and connectivity, this is where the workstation shines. No dongle life needed. On the left, we have two USB 3.1 Type A ports one with always on charging, you can see here, a full-size SD card reader for quick media imports, Ethernet for stable gigs, and a security lock slot. On the right hand side, we have another 3.1 Type A USB port, two Thunderbolt 3 ports for blazing 40 gigabytes per second transfers, and a daisy chaining display, HDMI 2.0 for 4K output, a headphone microphone combo jack, and a smart card reader for enterprise security. Power connectors are there too. Optional LTE keeps you connected off-grid, which you have right at the backpack when you remove this plate over here. And it's a pro's dream to hook up multiple 4K monitors from these beasts, uh, RAID storage, or peripherals without hassles. This laptop packs a keyboard that is a pro's delight. It's full-size, chiselet style, with a dedicated numpad perfect for data crunchers and coders. It also comes with optional backlighting. For our case, we have backlight. You can see by the backlight logo we have over here that keeps you productive in dim settings and it's spill resistance with drainage channels. So any accidental coffee, no problem. Keys have snappy and clicky feedback with 1.5 millimeters travel distance that is great for typing reports and coding without fatigue. Dedicated collaboration of keys. We have the mute calls and share screens instantly. That is a boon for remote teams. The cursor arrows are in arrow which might annoy inverted t fans but it's minor the touchpad glass it's smooth with precision that supports multi fingers gestures like page and zoom three finger swipe flawlessly it has three buttons for the pointing stick too that is accurate but less comfy than the pad which is so solid for productivity that for power users you might need to grab a mouse screen our configuration rocks 15.6 inch full hd ips display at 1920 by 1080, sharp for CAD, video editing, or simulations without the 4K power drain. Bezels are thick by 2025 standards, as you can see over here, especially the top part that changed the housing of the webcam, but it keeps the footprint compact. Display quality, we have an anti glare coating that fights reflections with wide viewing angles and decent color accuracy, as of around 72% NTSC, color gamut, which is vibrant for professional work though not the dream color caliber, which you also have in some other variants of this particular HP ZBook 15G6. The brightness levels we have over here, it hits between 220 nits to 400 nits on the higher side, which is bright enough for indoor use, but struggles in direct sunlight. There's no touch here, but the refresh rate is smooth at 60 Hz. Uh, it's reliable for tasks like 3D modeling, but if you crave for 4K, this particular model also comes with 4K screens and Full HD screens like the one over, over here. So if you're not okay with 
the full HD panel, then you can grab one that has 4K. Or nonetheless, you can use an external display because why not? We have so many external ports here, like the HDMI ports and Type-C ports for external displays. Speaker quality. Audio comes in courtesy of the Bang & Olsen. We have dual zero speakers above the keyboard right over here that pump out room feeling sound with crisp highs, punchy mids and surprising bass for a laptop. Actually at maximum volume, you can feel the board of the laptop shaking. There's no distortion at max volume, vocal shines in calls and music tracks layers without mud. The real gem, the Bang & Olsen audio control panel lets you tweak the equalizer, presets like music, movie and voice and the special effects you can customize for podcasts or immersive editing. Noise cancellation mics enhance clarity and it's pro-grade tuning conference calls into concerts. Having tested it, the speakers, I feel it's top notch and actually I'll give it a rating of 10 out of 10. Out of all the laptops that I've reviewed, these are some of the best speakers I've ever found on a laptop. For the CPU and the GPU, this is the heart. Let's geek out. The Intel Core i7 9850H is a 9th gen Coffee Lake beast. We have 6 cores and 12 threads, 2.6 GHz base speed, boosting up to 4.6 GHz turbo. It's a VPro enabled remote management with 12 MB cache and TDP of up to 45 watts. In real world tests, it crashes multi threaded tasks, rendering in Blender and simulations in MATLAB files, scoring up to 1,200 in Synbench at 15 multicore, outpacing many consumers' i7s. It's paired with integrated Intel Ultra HD 630 for light duties like browsing at 4K, 60fps, and it sips power when not stressed. But the star, the star here is the NVIDIA Quadro T2000 with 4GB DDR5 VRAM. 1024 CUDA codes, 128-bit bus, delivering 3.5 T-flops. F32, it's optimized for pros up like AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Adobe Suits, via the ISV certifications. It handles 3D modeling, ray tracing previews, and light VR without hiccups. In Spec ViewPath 13, it scores high in energy and medical sets, beating T1000 by 20 to 30%. Connectivity boots the rig. We have an Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX200 that delivers up to 24 GB per second with MU MIMO enabling lag-free cloud rendering or massive data transfers on crowded networks. Bluetooth 5.0 that offers up to 100 meter range for wireless peripherals like mice, mouse, headsets, perfect for untethered pro workflows. With 16 GB of DDR4 RAM, that is expandable up to 128. It's good for multitasking and it can run VMS, data sheets, and render simultaneously. Drawback, it's not the latest. It lacks the AVX 512 like Xeons, but for me, tire workstations, it's a powerhouse for engineers and creators. If performance is your good, this combo delivers unthrottled muscle. What else will you want in a machine, if not this one, if you are a video editor? If you're an AutoCAD professional user, what else do you need? As for the camera, uh, this is where there's a slight um, let down. We have a 720HD webcam. That is, some of the configurations have up to 1080p, but the one we have over here has a 720HD webcam that is functional but dated. Uh, there's grainy, it's a bit grainy in low light with washed out colors as you can see over here. There is no IR facial recognition here. 
but a privacy shutter slides over peace of mind this is so important because at least you won't have to put in solar tapes at this part to cover the camera microphone array includes noise cancellations and world facing mic capturing clear audio for calls without echo that is something uh, you can tell from the video that i've just recorded so guys this is the uh, audio quality from the zbook 15 g6 and that is the camera quality from the zbook uh, g15 g6 let me know what you think about the camera quality and as you can see it's not that good the camera quality is not good i hope the sound quality is good because i'm not shouting i just hope the sound reception is quite okay but let me know in the comment section what you think about the camera of this machine nevertheless even though the camera is bad the sole purpose of this machine was not about the camera but it was all about what we have on the motherboard the internal specs we have on the motherboard like the ram the graphic card the cpu the ports and everything else i think now that's why they decided to let it go on the camera aspects i don't know what to think about that but let me know in the comment section what are your thoughts about this particular camera security features security is so important in any other laptop be it a beast for gaming be it a beast for editing uh doing anything else security is just so important in any other electronic device and the security is we have over here it's a fortress level physically the fingerprint reader on the deck right over here it's for quick window hello logins which is so fast and reliable there's no ir camera as i said earlier but the webcam shutter blocks spies software wise we have hp sure start that auto recovers the bios from attacks we have SureSense that uses AI for malware detection. SureClick, sandbox browsers. We have VPro that enables remote wipes. Then it also comes with TPM 2.0 that encrypts data and optional smart cards that adds enterprise authorizations. So it's built for sensitive industries like defense and finance. Something else to add over here. The version that I'm using currently has Windows 10 installed. But remember, because it comes with TPM 2.0, chip it means you can build we can also be able to automatically upgrade our machine to windows 11 actually the latest windows 11 that you have battery capabilities we have a 90 watts per hour battery that lasts four to six hours on mixed use that is web browsing uh going through documents and light editing so at 50 percent brighten that is which is decent for a workstation but uh plug in for heavy gpu task which is so important whenever you want to use such a machine that has dedicated uh, graphic card for you to maximize the capabilities of the graphic card then you have to use it on power that's why plugin is very important and it also comes here with a 150 watts uh, blue pin charger you can see over here it's a bit weighty too this beast requires so much power when on heavy task therefore you just have to compromise on having a small charger the charger here it's a bit weighty just as weighty as the machine so it's very very critical that's why it's 150 watts then i know there are some 150 watts uh, chargers that are a bit small by design not as big as the one that i have over here so you can get them in the market too this machine also supports fast charging because it, it hits 50 percent in just 30 minutes so it's a desk to meeting portable and not all day unplugged under the hood, we have expansibility that I like to talk about. If we pop up the bottom panel with a, just a simple latch like this, there's no tools needed to access the expandable parts on this machine. As for RAM, we have four sodium slots. Right over here, you can see we have slots three and four. That is visible here for expansion. So you can upgrade the RAM from the 16 GB we have up to 120 GB DDR4 RAM. And then for storage, we have two M2 NVMe slots. You can see over here, just adjacent to one another. We also have another 2.5 inch bay right here that you can add your another storage. Yeah. You can have up to a total of uh, 6 TB storage with RAID options. Everything else you'll want for a machine. It's like you're having a desktop that is so portable. Then as for cooling, we have dual fans with vapor chamber, keeping the temperatures in check. Right over here, let me just move this part, you see. This is where we have the two fans, dual fans. There's a vapor chamber that keeps the temperatures in check during loads. 
though they ramp loud around 40 to 50 db when there's heavy workload underneath it here just before you remove the cover we have very large ventilation ports on the bottom and the sides to ensure that we have efficient airflow preventing thermal throttling during heavy tasks like rendering we have fibers at the bottom cover now just to elevate the laptop for better intake of airflow and provide firm grip on surfaces reducing slips during intense work sessions the battery is swappable too how could i forget about this uh you just adjust by this point and remove the battery easily so it's a user-friendly machine especially for it pros and it's feature proof for a rig without voiding warranty you can upgrade almost every other component of this machine apart from the processor and the graphic card remember the g3 version you will be able to upgrade the graphic card but now for the g6 version they just decided to solder it on the board so it's not upgradable but being up not upgradable does not mean that it won't be able to handle feature tasks this is still a very powerful graphic card that will still take you into the future to handle your day-to-day -day rendering editing and even gaming on this particular machine so what are my final remarks on this particular hp zbook 15 g6 it remains the world best selling mobile workstations we have unmatched build quality pro grade performance expandability in a portable package at this configuration it's a steal for card warriors and content pros it holds its own against the new arrivals in 2025 what are the cons we have dated ports and battery by ultrabook standards which uh, some always a bit weak but don't expect laptops that have dedicated graphic cards to have good batteries because whenever that dedicated gpu is at work then the battery will be the first component of the machine that has to suffer so you just have to compromise on that if you need raw power without breaking the bank grab one refurbished g6 like this one it's worth it absolutely nine out of ten what do you think drop your comments below do you go for this i7 beast or you pass like subscribe and hit the bell for more reviews and share for that algorithm boost thanks for watching stay productive let's meet on the next one